Hi, I'm Bob, Kilo Charlie 7, Golf Tango, Quebec. Welcome to Get Your Comms Up, where we give you the tools to communicate when no one else can. All right, guys, today we're talking antennas. So as you can see here, we have a wide variety of antennas laid out. Everything from your stock valfing antenna all the way to an extremely effective portable antenna, but you're not going to be able to walk with it. So we'll go through them. From basically this side, you've got your stock antenna. And then these are the ones that we generally end up recommending. These are fairly flexible, um, but quite a bit longer than your stock antenna. Uh, these are about 16 inches long. They add a lot to your radio. Um, one of the reasons I highly recommend following the links down here below in the description box. Um, there's a lot of different antenna connectors, guys. So this one is what's on your Baofeng radio. It's an SMA, uh, reverse SMA style connector. Um, and these come in a variety of styles. Some of them have this end on your radio and what's on the radio is actually kind of on the antenna. And then you got things like this. This is a BNC antenna. Uh, it's meant for a different style of connector from one of my other radios. And if you don't get the right connector, it won't attach on your radio. So it's important that if you don't know exactly what you need, just follow the links. That way it'll assure that you get the right connector for your radio as long as you're ordering for one of the Baofeng style radios. Um, and on that same note, these two antennas, okay, they look very similar here. But the difference is this one here, see that 27 megahertz there? That's actually tuned for the CB band. So even though it's, uh, it looks the same, it's for the CB radio, which is a completely different radio band than where these will operate in. So it's real important to get the right connector and antenna that is tuned properly for the bands that you're gonna be operating in. Uh, so there's links to this style. This is another one that will be in the description below. This is an Abri. These are a really cool antenna because they fold over. You undo this Velcro wrap here and then they just pop out. So now they're, they're pretty long. Um, they're actually slightly longer than, than these narrower whips. These are slightly uh, more broadband because there's just so much more surface area here in the antenna. And I really like these. These are a very well-performing antenna, and I love the fact that you can fold them over for when it's in your pack, and it doesn't uh, doesn't stick up and tend to hit you in the nose if you're walking and this is in a, a pocket on the front of your backpack or you know on your shoulder strap or whatever. Um, it's a little more convenient. On that note, a Bree makes a wide variety of these. This one here is a there. I think they're 44 inch model. Um, this is for a different radio. It's got that BNC connector on it. But you can get this one with an SMA connector like this one that'll fit the Baofeng radio. I don't recommend putting an antenna like this that's this long and this heavy on that connector that's on the top of your radio. These connectors are fairly small, okay? And it really doesn't, uh, doesn't like the stress of a giant antenna that's sticking, you know, almost four feet out from the radio is putting a lot of force on this connector. You can actually end up breaking these. So um, if you're gonna buy one of these, there's ways to remote mount this. So this could be mounted on your backpack. Um, we'll talk about that in a future video because there's a couple things you gotta do to make that work when this isn't attached directly onto that radio. Um, but then you can run one of these taller antennas and not have to worry about hurting your radio. So that's, uh, Another tip for you guys, don't get a, too big of an antenna for the radio you're putting it on. Uh, on a, the same note, again, this is a BNC style, this is for a CB, but you can get this style of an antenna for the Baofengs. This is what's known as a telescopic whip. Everybody who's ever had a, one of those children's walkie-talkies is pretty familiar with this style of antenna. And I remember as a kid being real upset when my little walkie-talkies bent and it does not take much to break these they're very fragile so they're a good antenna but they're very fragile so i don't recommend these as a long antenna even though it packs down really nice and compact they're just too brittle that's where these abris are really nice these guys have a variety of lengths 
They've got a 24 inch model, which is pretty nice. It's not too big to put on the radio, although it will get a little awkward. But again, you can fold it down and make it smaller when you're not actively transmitting with the radio. Another antenna we talked about in our last video is this little short stubby. Okay, these are actually really nice if, you're doing, if you don't need a lot of range. They're real short, they're a little bit flexible, and I really like these. If I'm talking to somebody who's you know in the same area as I am and I don't need to transmit a long distance, they, they're really nice. Now, if I really need to get out and I can't do it with my extended antennas, this guy up here, okay, this is a portable J-pole style antenna is what it's called. It's made out of what a lot of people were familiar, like TV twin lead type stuff. It's got two parallel wires in this casing. These are about four and a half feet long, and then it's got some coax that comes off the bottom. And you take and you throw a piece of paracord up over a limb in a tree, and you pull this sucker up in the tree. And then this hangs down, and now some of these, again, you have to be careful with connectors. This one has a BNC connector here, but I have this little jumper lead that goes to the style of connector that will fit into the radio. So this allows me to string this up in a tree if I'm backpacking out in the woods or out camping. I can string this up in a tree and talk a lot farther than I can with any of these other antennas. Uh, one of this style of antenna, again, in the item descriptions below and the video description below, uh, there's a link to one of these as well. Those are a really nice antenna if I don't have to be walking while I'm talking and I really need that extra range that's the antenna that's going to do it for this style of a radio. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions. Uh, future video down the road, we'll do some real world testing. I'll go out and uh, transmit from a distance away with each of this, these varieties of antennas. We'll see just how far away I can get. Um, that's another video coming up is how far will your radio transmit? It varies a lot on the terrain and what's around you. And that's something we'll get into in that future video. Again, guys, like, comment, and subscribe below. You can find links to all of this equipment in the video description below as well. Ring that bell button for, so you get a notified as soon as these videos post. That way you can keep up to date and we can get your comms up. <laughs>